Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into another game called Age of Origins. The game is still a strategy type, but it's from a different style. It's combining between the horizontal screen as well as the zombie style. So this is the first time for me to be playing this game, and let's just check it out. So the first thing we're hunting the zombies with the machine gun from a helicopter. We're trying to save this one. All right, let's see how it goes. Oh, I don't know, I think it's a big deal. You don't run away. I'm not leaving you to run away. And yes, guys, if you would like to, you can download the game on the computer using the link in the description. You will be downloading Bluestack, which is the emulator I'm using right now to be playing the game, as well as you can download it from Huawei App Gallery. You're going to get some extra benefits from there. This is something you should be considering. It's always good to start the game with some of the items. All right, so this is a city. But I don't see anything like names or such. Okay, so this one is the main hall. Okay, the first thing to do is to be upgrading this one. Main hall going to be the first building you should be focusing on. All right, we have got quests. All right, so this is the daily quest, the growth quest, which is the target we should be fixing. All right, wait, let me add some volume in. So you can hear exactly how this game is like, or the sound of it. Yeah, since uh, for me, I prefer to be having the music channel for any kind of games, but you know, it's always good to know what the hell it sounds like. All right, so I'm gonna have this building here. But the question is, uh, where is the tutorial? There is nothing here you know, to be checked or know exactly. Anyway, so it's upgrading or pressing on the town hall as well as upgrading that will take us to which target we should be fixing more. And then we have this icon appearing to show which building can be built. Right, you have any use for me? Right now, let's go to the wall. So this is a city wall. So the wall, like any other game, the wall connected to the town hall. You need to be upgrading both of them to the max in order to be able to keep going. And here, this is the factory where we want to be recruited troops. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. there is two troops we can be recruiting already: the basic tank and the basic cannon. Okay, let's take the cannon. When we have it over here is the camp to be training the soldiers, the basic infantry, and the basic gunner. Mm, yeah, so this is the ranged one, and this is the close combat. Okay, I can take some close combat to be keeping some type of defense, you know, for the cannons. Now what? All right, and back to this one here. I'll be great. Go on to the well. I'll be great. Power up. Posting and data are now listening. All right. Okay, so we need to be upgrading the town hall and the well, and then we will be having this icon to show us which building we can be building next. All right. Well, at least we have some type of instructions. Because that far, I can't really see any kind of really basic information. It's just, you have to figure out yourself. You can't even see the names of the building. This is not really giving me a good feeling. Like, I don't have really that much of time to be reaching something we need to be trusting in each building to know exactly what, what is this building for. Like, what if I forgot? All right, we have military recovery, which is uh, seems to be the battle bus. We have some free items, in the VIP for, for eight hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm interested to see where is the VIP. Okay, I can't see it here. The ranking. All right. Or at least we're having some free things in here. Okay, which mower? 
But is this empty stock say? Oh, we can be building something here. The farm. Well, it's, oh, let's finish this one off. Oh, it's no. Okay. So uh, this area is where we're able to be building the resources buildings. Uh, I guess it can be building all of them, maybe. Yep, seems we're able to actually build all. Okay, so the resources building was not connected to a level or the edge queue. Running up and installing this magic station hospital. Another training ground. Okay, I'll cut the car and get some. Oh, well, okay, so it's kind of like a house or a building and such. Okay. And then we have this one in here. Where is going large? Oh, I haven't seen it. I'm not coming in. Okay, so we can just build and not have an editorial to know exactly what to be doing with this one. We empathy. The city defines out those defense. Okay. So it's this building. This is a house. To be uh, increasing the limit for the refugee. Okay. Or it can be upgraded now. Well, it doesn't seem really that bad. The only issue that I'm seeing is the part is there is no tutorial to be following to know exactly how to do. That's the only thing that I really see not really good. Okay, now we see any VIP clips or the VIP icon. VIP one for me. Free speed, uh, speed up, free speed up time, free sources, outburst. Okay, can you check more? Yeah, I can go. But my question going to be, is it a permanently or I need to be activating this one? Okay, seems like we need to be activating the VIV. Well, it's it's the same like any other games, which is totally completely okay. Survival chest. Yeah. Okay, so this is the event tab. We have a survival chest, super officer card. Not why I'm pressing on it, it's shown. I guess it have to do with the, the level. Okay, we got some three items from here, which is cool. Okay, is there is, um, is that mean we're having so many cool things out here? Oh, we do. We could be officers. We have a free one. Victoria. Welcome to the team. And then we're having the elite recruit. Okay, uh, I'll be able to be chicken or I can go one down to see. Ah, and even the animation is changing. Okay, we have got a fragment. So we can be collecting heroes by collecting the fragments for it. That's really cool. And this is the garage. Can upgrade. Okay, so it's basically just to be upgrading things. Mm, this is where which will take us. All right, and here is the world. Or the big world where we can be checking other cities. And it seems we're having zombies around. Undead, not sure. The butcher. All right. This is the resources. I can need to have this city level 15. Time to join my mans. Nah, I'll leave this for later. Okay, so the game is really seems to be pretty easy, at least that far, since I haven't really unlocked everything available. The buildings, the only way to find which building is which, it by just pressing on it and then you can just memorize it yourself to know what this building is like. And then we're having the events here, we specialize, which includes uh, different metal baths, right? We can do like that. Ah, more free items, more speed ups. Cool. And even more gold without him turn. That's a monthly one. Forced to receive all of the following items. And the resources crate, so K. Limited time deal. 
ordeals, benefits. This is a problem. All right. Well, it seems pretty good. Well, I guess I'll be giving the game a really good try and see exactly how far I can go in it. Make sure guys to be joining me as well. Let me check which server I'm in. I'm in uh, National 1255. So make sure to be to be going into this one. Let me know in the comments if you're playing the game already or if you're planning to be playing it so we can be building our own alliance and just have fun into the game. So, share with me, guys, your thoughts around this game. If it's something you think it would be good for me to be covering up and make some guys for you guys into the game. And, you know, just let's have a talk around this game. That's all, guys, for the first impression in the gameplay for Age of Origins into my channel. I hope you are going to enjoy it and to be enjoying this game. For now, take care all and make sure to be liking the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. And now, take care and enjoy your game.